Hey what's up everyone, welcome to Fever Camp. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of Friction 2D to get started with this software. So let's get started. To download Friction 2D, open up your browser and type friction.graphics and then it will bring you to this website. Now go to download and then go down choose your operating system and then click on the download button so I'm going to choose Windows because my operating system is Windows so it's gonna take some time to download it so our download is complete let's open up the file as administrator click on I accept then go to next, choose your destination folder, then click on next. Then I'm going to tick on the create desktop shortcut and then install it. So it's been installed, let's click on finish and launch Friction 2D. So Friction 2D has been launched. As you can see the graphical interface is a bit different from NB2D. So to get started we're going to create a new project. Give your name, resolution and FPS and choose your background color. So I'm going to choose a white color. Click OK. I don't need 300 frames so I'm going to choose 100 frames. As you can see the interface is almost like NB but a little bit different in some ways so here is our canvas hit zero on keyboard to fit it to the canvas and then we have our tools in here on the left side and we have the fill and stroke manager sorry fill and stroke tab and there we have a alignment tab where we can align our objects to the scene here we have a text and font editor we can edit our text and make some changes in the text and then where we have assets this is where we will our this is where we, we will find our imported files you can import any type of files in NB sorry friction 2d as you can see I have imported a PNG image and it's showing on the assets we can reload, replace and remove it. So I'm going to remove it because we don't need it. So now <coughs> let's create a circle with the circle tool. Click and drag it. And then hold shift to make it perfect. Go to the selection tool. I'm going to choose a fill color. You can choose flat or gradient. You can choose gradient and make gradients like this but I'm going to choose flat for now let's give it a color I'm going to choose something sweet now let's see some shortcuts to manage our objects in the canvas hit G to move the object then hit GX to move the object only on the X axis then GY to move it only on the Y axis now I'm going to create a rectangle with the rectangle tool after creating a rectangle I'm going to hit R on the keyboard to rotate the object press S to scale an object then press SX to scale it only on the X axis and then Y for to scale it on the Y axis. Now if you do anything wrong just click on the right right mouse button it will just cancel anything you have done. Now let's go to the point mode and then as you can see we have two points to edit the rectangle we can make the we can change we 
can make changes in the width and height with these points same for the circle we can change the vertical and the horizontal width of this circle now I'm going to convert this circle to a path then go to select the path as you can see the old circle is still here let's select one of the points and you can see we can edit the circle with these points if you have used Inkscape this object to path operation shouldn't be something new to you now let's animate the rectangle so we can animate here going on the properties and then choose one of the properties to animate so I'm going to animate the position so let's go to the translation and then animate it let's go to transform translation I'm going to animate the x-axis let's create a keyframe on the first one and then create a here and then I'm going to duplicate this keyframe by selecting it and pressing ctrl D on my keyboard or you can just select the keyframe and press shift D to copy and paste it on anywhere you want so I'm done with the keyframing as you can see the animation is in linear mode so we're going to make it smoother using the graph editor so let's go to the graph editor so let's turn on graph editor for this x-axis and then go to the editor by clicking on here as you can see there these are three keyframes let me make some adjustments let's select all of them and choose one of these smooth operations as you can see our animation is smoother now but it's kind of fast so I'm going to make some make some more spaces in the keyframes let's select all of them and then press S as you can see I have make some changes in the keyframe so let's go to the graph editor again Okay, so we are having some kind of problem let me just clear the cache okay the problem is still happening there so let's go to the graph editor and see what's happening here okay as you can see this is not working I think it's some kind of bug so let's make it smoother again oh so we cannot make it smoother okay that's a unfortunate thing I think friction 2d is less unstable than nb2d because the because even the undo functions doesn't work for some reason so anyway that's that's how you can smooth your keyframes using the graph editor and now let's create a rotation keyframes for the rectangle So let's create a keyframe on the rotation parameter then go to frame 30 then create another keyframe this time I will make the values to 180 so it rotates fully and makes a loop okay looking nice I'm going to smooth it in the graph editor later we can trim our scene duration with this start and end keyframes as you can see our an animation our scene has been trimmed to 48 frames so let's check loop and as you can see it's having a loop here okay so we are going to render our animation but before that I'm going to show you another function called visibility range so let's say we have our to 60 frames and I don't want to show this rectangle after the 60 frames so this is where you can use visibility range so we have created a visibility range for the object as you can see if I move the visibility range every keyframes will move to so let's trim it to 40 frames and our object will not show after the 40 frames this is how you use the, the visibility range of friction 2d Okay, to render our animation 
we need to go to scene and then add to render queue and it will show in the queue tab so let's add it to the render queue go to scene and then add to render queue and here we have our scene 0 so let's go to render settings here you can choose or edit anything you want and then click ok then choose the output setting I'm going to choose mp4 we have no audio so I'm going to unmark uncheck it and then choose your destination folder to export to render that animation and then hit render and our animation has been rendered so let's check the animation as you can see this is the animation that we had created in friction 2d so that's it that's the basics of friction 2d thank you for watching and if this video was helpful please give the like and share it with your friends nb2d and friction 2d are same actually so i don't think you are that's nothing new to learn to friction 2d so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye